What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster. This is episode 22 now on the series. In the last episode we made this monstrosity. It, well actually we didn't make it. I basically just kind of showed you guys what I had been working on yesterday morning. So this is the Raging River. It is our first official water ride in the park. Now I did get a suggestion that in the outskirts area, this new zone over here, that I should try to maybe incorporate a couple of different water rides. So we started off doing the overpowered right here, the OP, and it is technically a water ride. I know no one's riding it right now. I can I can fix that. <laughs> we'll change this back to full load. There we go. So now people should actually be able to get on that, but it's kind of a water ride in that it splashes you as you go around it and yada yada yada. So we only have two water rides over here so far. Today, what I think we're gonna be doing is adding our third. And I have kind of an idea of how I wanna do this, but I'm not 100% sure that it's even gonna work. So you guys may remember in the last episode, we added this little food court area right here. And it's pretty cool, we got a little staff room right there. But on the back side, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but we did have a path that started to go through the mountain. So what I did off camera is added a couple of lights in here to sort of brighten up the area and it comes through to the center right here of the mountain. So what I'm thinking about doing guys is putting a coaster inside of the mountain. But to do that, we're gonna have to flatten out quite a bit of the terrain here. This is gonna be a weird one, that's for sure, guys. I hope you guys are ready to see what this thing's gonna look like. So now, what I wanna do is grab the smooth tool. The lighting in here is pretty terrible, but I'm gonna grab the smooth tool and just come around the edges where it used to be rough and try to smooth it out a little bit, make it look not so jagged. And I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently, actually, I think. I'm gonna start off by making a queue. Okay, I think we'll finish it off there. That looks like a pretty good size queue. I think a lot of people are gonna ride this thing. I don't know for sure, but the idea in my head is pretty solid, guys. So you may have seen me messing around with this in a previous episode. I don't remember if I left that part in or not. However, this is a roller coaster that's both coaster and sort of log flume type of ride. So I think it'll be a pretty good fit for this area. Okay, so this thing's going to auto tunnel. So once we are complete with the ride, I'm gonna have to come through with a couple of lights and make sure that everything is well lit so this thing isn't just rolling around in complete darkness. The entrance is gonna go right here and the exit will go right over here. I think right there should be a good spot for it. And then we'll do a nice little ramp right there. That should work perfectly for our exit. I don't wanna do anything too crazy, but I want this thing to be pretty fun. So let's go ahead. We're gonna go 60 degrees straight up. We have to keep in mind, we are going to come in contact with Pelican at some point. We could also come in contact with Acrobat over there. So I'm gonna make this a really, really big 60 degree incline here. It's gonna come all the way up through the mountain and then we'll have it back off right about there. And this section will go back to zero. And we'll make that as short as we can. There we go. So this will be the first drop of the ride. Now I don't want it to be a water ride just yet because we're on the outside. The water ride will be on the inside. The outside over here, I'm gonna try to make an actual coaster. So now we're on technically the inside of the area. So what I want to do here is start the boat. So we want a channel entry right here. And then this is going to be the conveyor belt lift. Wow, this thing's crazy. Conveyor belt lift exit. Oh, I got it. Okay, so this thing can't go down. It can just go putzing around. So let's try to just sort of weave in and out of this area a little bit. We'll do a 90 around here. And then right here, we'll start the conveyor belt chain lift. Place that down there. So this is gonna bring the boat out of the water and back into a coaster, I believe. If we want it to, it'll just be a coaster again. I don't really know if it's gonna have enough speed for this, so I'm gonna start a test. We're gonna have to play it out here, but I wanna see, oh, we're gonna have to change the speed of this over here too, aren't we? Change that to 14, there we go. And then this chain lift over here, this we want to be 14 miles per hour as well. Oh my God, you're kidding, it was so close. Oh man, okay, so we have to make that a little bit steeper. If we do something like that, this might work. It also might suck. So let's go ahead and get the first raft up here. There we go, first raft coming down, carries a little bit of speed. 
Oh, get there. Come on. Yes, dude. That's perfect. All right. So now it's just a boat and the boat's going to go through the water here. There's no way that this thing just doesn't rust out over time because you got the roller coaster section underneath the actual boat. It's got to be just one rusty pile of crap, dude. Okay, there we go. Perfect. That's all I needed to know. It made it to this point. So we're going to back this up. This we're going to have super short. We're going to do a 45 degree turn at a 22.5 degree angle. And we're going to run this underneath of the staircase. And then at this point, this will be the splash down section. So at a 45 degree angle, it's going to come in pretty hot. This will be fairly long and then shorten it up to right about there. We'll put the splash down end right here. This is going to be a pretty long ride, you guys. It's already looking crazy. Wait, what happened over here? What? Okay, well, that fixed that. I don't know why that was broken. Back up to zero, back down 11.25. We're going to have this be a little bit of a hilly section nothing crazy just a good exciting section to track here right here i want to start bringing it back up not very high and now we can do the channel entry at the top of the chain lift all right i just want to test this thing out to see if it can even get to the point where we are right now so let's go ahead and fast forward here so this is the first section. It should be pretty quick through here. Should have decent excitement up until you get to this top point. Gently drop itself into the water trough and it'll start working its way around here. This is just to get people, you know, acclimated with what the ride's gonna be like. Now coming around here, it'll go back up the conveyor and then start its first technical descent here. Into the splash zone, that looked good. Back up and then we got this Kind of wavy section of track here. Excitement's not very high through there. It's kind of upsetting. Up and over. It's going to go back into some water here. And then it'll go around this bit. Again, excitement's not anything crazy. Nothing to write home about. It'll go up the chain lift here. And start going down again. Hopefully gets a little bit faster through there. There we go. That's looking good. Okay. So at this point, it needs another drop. That's the one thing that it's missing. Okay, I changed my mind. I don't want this area at all. Even this little loop. This is weak, dude. It needs to be way more enjoyable than this. And this little wavy bit right here. Like, what was that? That was so whack. It had like, I don't know, was it a two? I think it was a one on the excitement scale, which is not good. So let's see if it can do this. Should be pretty easy. Oh, yeah, dude, that's perfect. A really, really long section of track here going down at a 45 back up to zero. I'm going to click pause again so we don't keep getting interrupted. And then we're going to turn this a 67.5 around the bend here. And at this point, I think we're going to take it back up 60 degrees and then start to bring it back down to zero right here. Back to a regular piece of track. Go down just slightly at a 45 degree turn. And we're going to take this thing right over top of the water raft. Look at that, right to the end, and then we'll have it go down just a little bit more at a 45 degree turn, go back to zero. We're gonna have it go over the top of the Pelican. That looks good. Back it off to a zero again. And now down here at the base, we're gonna do another incline, make it drop back to zero. We'll do a regular section of track here, down just a tad, do a little windy section through here. I've never done anything like this at just the really slight incline, so I'm curious to see what it does. Okay, and now back to this point. This is where I want it to get crazy, dude. I want it to almost look like it's gonna hit and then start the splash zone and go, can we go underneath, do you think? Nope. So we could do the splash zone up here, start it there, and then we'll run it all the way across, do our little chain drive yet again, back to a normal chain drive, and we'll go back up the, the side of the mountain here, up to the very top, and we'll start the channel entry, and we'll just work our way this way. And now we'll do a slight decline on some normal track. And we're gonna turn it this way, do a 60 degree plummet at a 45 degree angle. Go straight down right here 
Actually, we're gonna have to go this way a little bit. The problem I'm running into right now is that I don't know where the end is. So I'm gonna bring just a regular, actually, we'll probably have to do some drive tires. I'm gonna bring some drive tires out this direction with an auto tunnel of 15 feet. There we go. Can we do a splash here? Okay, we could do splash up here at a slight angle. Make this nice and long like it needs to be. Then the end, and let's see if we can't do, let's do the belt exit. And can we just get some simple auto complete here? Ooh, doesn't look like there's anything simple about it. That's not gonna work. So we need a little bit of a decline here, but not much more of a turn than anything else. Get it to turn in like this. It can't really figure anything out, which is upsetting. It's trying. It just doesn't really know what to do. There we go. That looks a lot nicer. So we'll finish that out. Let's test this thing, dude. I'm really curious to see how this is going to perform. So all of these chains, we're going to have to make sure they're on 14 miles per hour. All right. Let's get in our ride camera here. Hopefully this is cool, you guys. Okay, so this is our first drop. Up and over. Just barely makes it to the top here, and this is where it'll plop us in the water. Make our way around. And then this will be the first splash zone drop. Oh my god. It's not like crazy right now, but just the fact that we're above a mountain and it looks the way it does, that part is crazy. Down and up. Okay. And then back down, around to a chain, take us up to the top, and then this should be pretty gradual, shouldn't carry a ton of speed, I don't know, we might have to, we might have to adjust this section here depending on what our ratings are, that seems a bit boring through there, we're only going 32 miles an hour, I thought we'd have a lot more speed than this honestly, back up here, Excitement's gonna start dropping back down. And this is where it gets a little unrealistic. I don't think anyone would have this here. We'll see what the excitement does. Not really a whole lot. People actually start to get bored right here. And then we have this 60 degrees straight down to a splash zone and back up. That was pretty good excitement through there, about a seven. Up to the top, back in some water. So the water is going to take it all the way around. I guess we're not trying to make a super exciting ride, right? It just has to be a water ride. That's the only criteria for this area. And then this. Whoa, okay. Wow. An excitement of 10. Fear is really high, though. I guess we'll just see what our results are. I don't know what to think about that last part. Stop test. We're gonna say we're done editing it. Aw, oh, the exit got moved. Shoot. It's in 836, you guys. That's actually really good. I wanna see how many trains we can add because I want all of them. 20 trains on a standard operation. And the ride colors, you guys, I think I'm gonna keep them the same. I'm content with this. Even the operator color, it kinda goes along with the same theme. This could be a problem. I did not think about this. This area right here may have to become a chain. Okay, can we still have 20 trains on it? No, seriously, I hardly changed anything. If I go back to the way it was, Oh my god. Oh no. I hope everything's saved okay. Oh, hey, we got some challenges. Have 24 people visit your hotels for two months in a row. Claim. Have 44 people visit your restaurant for one month in a row. Claim. Oh, autosave, you are a good person. Okay, give me just a second here. Okay, so I guess we are going to just be stuck with... 16 trains instead of the 20 that we had originally, but that's okay. 16 is still plenty. So now we just have to let this thing test out one more time. Now, the ride itself is pretty big. It's probably one of the biggest rides that we have in the park right now, even bigger than the Raging River that we added in the previous episode. So all the trains are gonna come through or not. Fantastic. I'll be back. Okay, let's try that again. So I made this section over here chain. Wait a minute. And now we can only do five. What if we change it to block section? Okay, we could do seven. I guess we could try seven of them. So long as nothing gets stuck anywhere, we should be... Nope, 
Can't do it. Can't do it. God, this thing really got messed up, you guys. Okay, so it is an 841. I think it was in the 60-something, 860-something last time. So 841 divided by 35 would be $24.00. And two cents. So we will charge 2402 for this thing. We are still fast forwarding, so we'll see if anyone starts to come over here to line up to write it. All right. Well, I do think that is going to do it for this one, you guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.